Good morning. Again, this is the weekly impact weather briefing for Central North Carolina for August 15th through the 21st. Uh, my name is Ryan Ellis. I'm a forecaster here at the National Weather Service in Raleigh, and I'll be taking you through your week. And as you can tell, it's been uh, hot outside, and that'll continue to be the case early this week as we have a uh, heat advisory in place once again today. Heat indices of 105 to 110 degrees are possible in the counties to the east, uh, mo mostly east of US-1, but there's a couple in there, uh, Chatham County, Durham County, uh, Lee County is right on US-1. Uh, also, these counties to the south there, like Moore County and uh, Richmond County, they may have to be included later, but they're going to be right on the border of that uh, 103 to 105 heat index. Um, at that point, you know, it's it's really it's hot no matter what, so everybody should probably take the same precautions. We expect that to be in place from 12 to 8 p.m. this afternoon. And another advisory may be needed tomorrow as well, although it did look like maybe the dew points drop off a degree or two, which may help to bring these uh, heat indices down a little bit, uh, at least below advisory criteria. If not tomorrow, then uh, certainly on Wednesday it looks a little bit cooler, and we'll go into that here next. Uh, so this is Monday and Tuesday's high temperatures, uh, mid to upper 90s today, followed by mainly mid 90s tomorrow, maybe some low 90s out in the triad. And then as you go into the rest of the week, we are showing um, oh, maybe a little bit of a, a change in pattern uh, by Thursday where a frontal system kind of moves over the area that should give us lower temperatures and you can see here we're forecasting this is the forecast for Raleigh down at the bottom there about 89 degrees or so it's be about 90 across the entire area with some increased chances for precipitation there for the end of the week and we'll get into that a little bit here so this is this week's weather pattern and you can see uh, off into the Ohio Valley and the Mississippi where of course they've had the major flooding uh, rain continues to be the case there that front will eventually push eastward and south down across our area for midweek and into late week you can see this little pink line here that's that's a trough that's going to be the remains of the front as it just kind of sits over the area and washes out over us so uh, certainly Thursday and Friday look to be a bit wetter days even going into uh, Saturday as well but certainly not the rainfall that they were seeing over in Louisiana early this week we're not expecting any kind of major flooding or anything like that so uh, as far as the severe potential is concerned, the next couple of days, this is the outlook from the SPC, and we're just in general thunder today, um, and even tomorrow in the northeast, it looks like not even in general thunder on their outlook, and then back to general thunder on Wednesday. So as far as severe weather is concerned, there could be an isolated severe storm, and if it were to occur, that would probably be damaging winds, but otherwise uh, looks pretty... Uh, mundane as far as the weather goes, as far as thunderstorms go. On to the rainfall totals. This, these are the expected totals from the Weather Prediction Center uh, in Washington. And what you can see here is that there's the obvious drier period for the beginning of the week. And then as we get into Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, those rainfall totals start to pick up. Whereas you see the seven-day total there, somewhere around an inch. My experience with these is that they tend to be overdone a little bit because they're trying to average out thunderstorms over the entire area. So when we get you know, thunderstorms that, that come up in one area and not another, some areas may, may get very close to zero and another area maybe may get an inch and a half so uh, on average though we can expect somewhere around an, an inch for the for the seven day total which mostly will fall Thursday through Sunday so going ahead to the following week 
we are expecting back uh, to above normal temperatures, uh, which would indicate probably 90s again for next week and below normal precipitation as well. So uh, hot and dry again. And we've been dry quite a bit lately, so that might lead you to think about drought and abnormally dry conditions. And uh, looking at the, the drought monitor, we're not there yet. So everything still looks good as far as, as drought is concerned. So to sum everything up here, heat advisory today, highs in the uh, mid to upper 90s with a heat index of 105 to 110 possible. The front arrives on Thursday with cooling back to near 90, so relative cooling, I guess. And uh, rain chances mainly Thursday through Sunday. The front washes out over the area for the weekend. Above normal uh, chances for above normal temperatures and below normal rain next week. And then, uh, as I just said, the drought is still not a problem over the area. So that, that um, that's a good thing. Other than that, that's pretty much the... Uh, fairly low impact briefing for the week. Um, otherwise, if you have any questions, let me know.